A country of extremes. A land in transition. Change is happening everywhere. We're in India on this month's CNN Business Traveller. Welcome to CNN Business Traveller. I'm Richard Quest, this month reporting from the magnificence of the Maharaja's Palace in Jodhpur. This is India's time, so the experts tell us. Which is why on this month's Business Traveller, we're looking at the ease of doing business and travelling around this vast land. is the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel, the flagship of the Taj Hotel Group, the largest Indian hotel company. The Taj Group is a big player at home, but relatively small when it comes to the global hotel chains. And now, as more visitors are coming to India, the issue becomes how Taj competes on its home turf. In the centre of the chaos and noise that is Mumbai lies the gateway of India. And across the street, another gateway to an oasis. The Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. It placed Mumbai on the map. The corridors here echo history and elegance. Taj Mahal Palace opened its gates in uh, 1903. Uh, first luxury hotel in India. Hospitality is the linchpin of Indian culture, and the homegrown hotel leader Taj wants to be your host with the hook of authenticity. Here they call it Tajness. Our pitch is that you would rather stay with a brand that has been here for 100 years, that is actually able to project the real Indianness and the culture of the country. Incredible India was a phenomenon. Yes. And it worked. And it worked, yes. The numbers went through the roof. Yes. What's next? To promote India as a brand, we obviously need to build on infrastructure. We can actually develop multiple itineraries. But our problem is we only get like 7 million people every, which, every year. Which is nothing. Yeah, so I mean the e-visa scheme is definitely helping. The domestic airlift is definitely improving a lot. So more and more tra people are traveling. Even with it more than 100 hotels, you are a minnow. We can't compete on scale with the likes of Marriott and Starwood. We feel that at least for the market like India, it's almost like they, they are good at baseball, but they're coming to a country like India and we play cricket. So we want to actually play our own game, be good at it. And that brings us back to Tajness. We thought that this could actually manifest itself into some traditions and rituals which we could weave around all our hotels. So the lighting ritual is something which is practiced across millions of homes uh, throughout India. In essence, it's something which is done every evening. Conceptually, it's dispelling the darkness. So it's something which exudes warmth and hospitality. There are hotels that are palaces, and there are palaces that are hotels. The Omeid Bawan Palace, the home of the Maharaja, of Jodhpur. The Maharaja still lives here, even though his palace is now a hotel. The jewel in the crown, the pride of the Taj Hotel Group. Perfectly manicured grounds, ornately carved gargoyles, rich, regal, fit for a king. It has to be. This is the number one hotel in the world according to TripAdvisor. <laughs> Securing the future by preserving the past, that's what the Maharaja Gaj Singh did when the government de-recognised royal titles in the 70s. His privy purse and privileges gone, 
He turned to tourism to keep the palace alive. It was considered wrong for a king, a royal family, to indulge in any form of business. You encourage business and you run the state. So when independence came and when we merged our state, there was no source of income. Lots so of people who wanted to see us underground. <laughs> they didn't succeed. The title may have gone, but you'd never have guessed. The Maharaja is still given a majestic welcome by guests. Was there ever a moment when you feared or thought you would actually have to lose the palace? Soon after independence, my father offered it to the government for, for peanuts. And of course, it didn't happen, thank God. What worried me the most at that time was that this was a legacy of 800 years. What would, what would come of it? And to sustain, you have to think ahead. You can't, you can't stand still. Here, the exquisite infrastructure was in place. Open the doors, they will come. It just became the one way to keep things going and keep a lifestyle that one was accustomed to going. But it was not just a private home. It was a place for entertainment, it was a place for hospitality. You've taken to the hospitality industry, haven't you? You've got other uh, different well, types of hotels yes. that you, 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 you own. And you well, basically, almost all, all our well, grandfather's holiday homes are uh, hotels of some sort. Now this Maharaja's palace is a royal family business. It's for the younger generation. My daughter's very involved now. What's it like living there with a hotel next door? I've always told all the managers that... Um, Please remember, this is not just a hotel, it's a palace, it's my home.